Hello and welcome back to the most amazing channel on the internet. I'm your host Rebecca Felgate and today I'm talking about the top 10 people who have seen hell. You guys seem to enjoy our top 10 people who have seen heaven. If you haven't seen it, there is a link to it right here. Many of you watched it and then requested the hell version, so burn baby burn, we are taking you there. Once again, I am approaching this video in the same way that I'd approach, say, a video about scary ghosts or the zombie apocalypse or ghouls or anything like that. Before we get started, I also just want to remind you guys to hit that thumbs up button if you like this kind of content. Also, if you haven't clicked on the notification bell, please do do it now. Okay, hell, what is the crack? Starting off, this woman went to hell and saw Whitney Houston. We have Linda Nagorja at number 10. 28 year old Linda died during a brief illness and went to hell where she saw her parents burning in fire. Great. They weren't the only familiar faces she saw either. She also saw Colonel Gaddafi and Whitney Houston. She said that she was allowed to leave hell for a second chance at life, but was told that Muslims and Catholics would end up here if they didn't convert to Christianity, which doesn't really make any sense. Linda's story made her a celebrity in Sierra Leone, where two people stabbed one another over whether or not they thought her near death experience was true. Sure. Coming into number nine, we have a World War II soldier's version of hell. In 1943, George Ritchie woke from his hospital bed where he had medically died of pneumonia. This is when Jesus showed up and gave him a guided tour of the afterlife. He showed him that hell was, surprisingly, a bar. Lost souls grasped at drinks being swilled back by the living, but they couldn't have them. He then saw other corners of hell as perpetual brawls and aggressive brutal sex. Blimey. Apparently he was awoken by a holy spirit who told him that he had 45 years to to publish his testimony. It's a generous deadline if ever I heard of one. Coming into number 8, we have Robert Light. Robert Light uploaded a video to YouTube claiming that God had showed him heaven and hell in a dream. Watched 33,000 times, he describes the horrors of hell to the internet. He said, What I saw was a dark place, a place of weeping, a place of gnashing of teeth, a place of regret, a place of pain, and a pleasant morning. He said there were a group of people who were there crying in anguish saying, oh, why didn't anyone warn us that living life after our own desires would end up here? I'm not really sure what kind of feedback he was getting because he disabled the comments for the video. I'm thinking people didn't really like it. Coming into number 7, we have Redditor Zashiba. This contributor to Redditor says that her aunt relayed a horrifying near-death experience to her. She medically died during an operation and floated above the operating table. Absolute classic near-death experience stuff right there. However, instead of floating towards the bright light, she floated above what Zoshiba called a very large chasm. Now this chasm was in the middle of a very bland field of dirt. The hole was deep and dark and she couldn't see to the bottom. Her aunt then relayed seeing a beautiful field of green grass but out of her reach. She then began being pulled down into the chasm. Now her niece says that a pair of hands reached out in the blackness and started pulling at her, ripping her flesh from her legs and her feet. Her aunt then said that she saw herself in hospital again and she was revived. Ugh. Coming into number 6, we have the account of Angie Fenimore. Angie has been very forthcoming with her story, sharing it with a number of national news outlets and using the experience to make real changes in her life. Angie attempted suicide in 1991 when she was 27 years old. She says that as she was slipping away, she was subjected to a life review. Again, absolutely classic near death stuff. After her life review, she was surrounded by a cold darkness that seemed to go on forever. She was then in some kind of dark open field surrounded by roaming lost souls. These were too sad to communicate with one another. Luckily, she came through it, and in the end, she wrote a book on her experience. She later became a life coach. I guess it goes to show, guys, you can be really, really low but you can turn your life around. Hell is a burning cauldron according to Dr. Rajiv Party at number 5. Even doctors can go to hell it seems. Dr. Party was the chief anaesthetist at Bakersfield Heart Hospital in California. Unfortunately, he himself needed life-saving surgery from septic shock. During his surgery, he said he floated out of his body and felt a jolt of pure fear. He said that he heard screams of pain and anguish as he looked into a flaming canyon filled with burning flesh. He said a voice he spoke to him, telling him he had lived a materialistic and selfish life and that he had lost all empathy. He was then given a second chance by angels, who told him that he was destined to be a healer. He was then given his second chance and he turned everything around. I don't like this. Matthew Botsford describes flesh eating demons at number four. Great. 
Matthew was attending a business convention in Atlanta in 2013 when he was shot with an Uzi submachine gun. Matthew was involved in a random attack as an angry man sprayed shots onto the pavement. He described the pain of the bullet as like a needle in the head, however that is nothing compared with what was to come next. Matthew said, Immediately I shifted from the temporal realm I lived in to the eternal realm of hell. Aged just 28 at the time, Matthew spent 27 days in an induced coma. During this time he was shackled over a glowing red abyss. He said there were four legged creatures roaming in agony and screams of lost souls pierced the air. The red abyss rose to become visible magma which burned his limbs off one by one, although they kept on growing back and then being burned off again. Ugh. He also said demons with sharp teeth ripped into his flesh. Luckily, what he describes as the hand of God brought him back. From that day, he has a renewed belief in God. Now, Sadly, Matthew's friend and business associate wasn't so lucky. He died on the spot right there on the pavement. Let's hope he didn't go to hell. From flesh eating to flesh tearing. Great! We are talking about Howard Storm's experience at number 3. In 1985, Howard was professor of art at Northern Kentucky University. Like a lot of people, he used anger as a coping mechanism and never really thought about trying to better himself. On the evening of June 1st, Howard very nearly died aged 38 as a result of a perforation of the stomach. He slipped into unconsciousness and saw figures beckoning him in into a haze. He followed them and they pretended to be kind to him. They then urged him to stay with them. Now, Eventually the figures got very aggressive, verbally and physically. The shadowy figures taunted him and eventually began to claw and bite him. The whole situation culminated in him being eaten alive. Luckily, Howard awoke and felt a renewed love of Jesus. Coming into number 2, we have Vasula Ryden. Vasula believes that both God and the devil speak to her and use her as some kind of vessel. Good. Now, It first happened in 1985, which seems to be an important year for big hell reveal. She said that she was writing a grocery list when an angel came and embodied her. This angel then showed her visions of both heaven and hell. Now she says that sometimes the devil possesses her and uses her hand to write. She also claimed that the devil showed her visions of the destruction of the World Trade Centers in 2001 and it looked a lot like hell. Are there any more celebrities in hell? You betcha! Our number one saw a few shocking hell residents that you might recognize. That's right, coming into number one, we have Angelica Elizabeth Zambrano Mora. Yes, that is her full name, but let's just go with Angelica for short. Angelica was 18 when she died for 23 hours. She said that Jesus showed her hell where she saw people on fire begging for mercy. Who else did she run into? Firstly, Michael Jackson. Why was he there? Well, apparently he replicated demons in his dance moves. Jesus alleged that he had actually made a deal with the devil for fame and fortune. Who else was there? Well, none other than Pope John Paul II. Why? Jesus said that he liked money more than the truth, which I mean, maybe that is the truth. It seems that Angelica thinks that Jesus took her there to tell the world that hell is real, but who knows? So guys, that was the top 10 people who have seen hell. Once again, I'm not religious, so while these stories are scary, to me they're just as scary as any ghost story or zombie apocalypse movie. Movie. That being said, it doesn't mean that I don't think that you should be a good person. I absolutely wholeheartedly support being a good person, but not through fear of burning eternally in flames, just because, you know, you want to be, and being a good person is a nice thing to do. So, guys, let me know if you believe in hell in the comments section down below. Have you ever had a near death experience? I want to hear from you. Do sound off down in the comment section. For now, I'm your host, Rebecca Felgate. If you like this video, make sure you give it a good thumbs up, share it with a friend, and stay subscribed for more most amazing lists. Bye! <laughs>